Coming up, I'm going to do an ASO analysis for a Diner Dash type of game. You'll discover our thought process for keyword research and how to select the right keywords for your app name. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.co, the place you go when you want action-packed content in the app business because I bring you detailed action-packed content to help you grow your downloads. And today, I had a person in the audience reach out to me and said, hey, Steve, I got this app. I looked at the app and I was like, holy cow, they're doing phenomenally well on ASO, but they wanted my feedback on what I would do if I had to take it to the next step. And so I said, okay, I'm willing to do that for you, but I normally charge for this, but if you let me record it and publish this on YouTube and on my podcast, I'm happy to do that for you. So they said, yes, go ahead and do that. So that's the app we're gonna be looking at today. Now, let's go into the screenshot and I'll make it a little bit more screen share. All right, so here's the app. It is called My Cafe, Recipes and Stories, and I'm gonna show you this first. Here's the app, All right? The first recommendation that I would make is the US and the Spanish Mexico localization. As you can see, it's in Spanish here. They have the same app name. So have different app names for the different localizations because you only have English here. And if you put different app names here in the Spanish Mexico app name, you're gonna be able to pretty much double the keywords you're going after because you don't need to have the same app name repeat it twice. We've been able to rank really high for certain keywords when we put it in the Spanish Mexico app name. And so there's no need to repeat it on the US and Spanish Mexico side. We usually have different app names and different subtitles and different keywords on both localizations. So pay attention to that. That's the first recommendation I would make. Now I put together this long list of keywords for them. So these are just the, the ones I've targeted. So generally what we do is we put together a long list of keywords. I go more for our clients, but here I wanted to get a sense of, you know, what they already currently rank for, maybe just a few other auto suggested terms. So what I did was I picked like cake and I see what I saw what auto what Apple auto suggested in the App Store. So let me come on and show you this too. So I did cake. So this is the App Store. I do cake and then I look at what auto Apple auto suggests. And I put those keywords into here. And I did that for, I think, coffee shop or other thing, other keywords too. And I built this long list of keywords. What we generally do after that was we throw them into Central Tower Mobile Action to get all the data. And then we can see all the ranks, the number of keywords, the traffic scores from Central Tower difficulty. So everything that you see that's highlighted in green, that means that it's low competition for them, for that keyword. Now, it's just what I've deemed to be low competition. I found that anything under three on Sensor Tower tends to be, we can highly rank for them. And then anything on mobile action that's above 70, we can rank well for them. And then they're not always accurate because obviously here, if I did a little rank sort, you'll see that you know they're, they're ranking really well for their keywords, right? So that's what I did. I pulled all the data and anytime that you have, you see keywords where both platforms are telling you low competition like these, these are generally mean from our experience that they can rank really high for those keywords. Okay. So the, they're doing really well. As you can see, you know, cafe games are number one, my cafe, they're number one, obviously cafe itself. They're number one. They're doing really well from an ASO perspective, but here are the subtle changes that I would make. So what I did, let me go back to this. And also let me guys show you this real quick. So you can go under App Annie, this is all free. I put the app in there and you could do this for co your competitors. And I went to the ASO tab and I saw all the keywords that are ranking well for, right? So that's what I've done here. And that, that helped me build up this list too. All right, this is my patented spreadsheet that I use for our ASO clients. So let me go through here and why I decided to make some of these changes. So I looked at the, the popular terms, you know, the, the very generic terms. I would say, or the head terms, I would say like bakery, baking, baking games, cafe, cake, cake games, chef games. So these are like very, you know, broad head terms, as I would say, like cafe is very broad. You don't know exactly what people mean yet. So, and I wanted to see one, what the traffic scores look like for these terms and two, where the, the app is currently ranking. 
Now you'll notice that the app name says my cafe recipes and stories. Now I don't know why they have recipes and stories. I should ask them, but I don't know. So I did pull up, you know, recipes and stories and they don't rank really well for them. So here it is. This is the screenshot that shows us, right? There are 87 for recipe stories and 89 for recipes. Now they could be going after some phrases with stories and recipes, but I think it's a waste because I just don't see them ranking really well for anything related to stories or recipes. Now, again, I could be completely wrong because I don't know all the keywords that they're targeting. All I can base my decisions off of is what I currently see in app Annie and everything else. Okay. So let me show you why I decided to rename this app the way I did. So I've actually renamed it my cafe cake, bake, cake, baking boss, coffee shop story and world, right? This is my new U S app name suggested the U S subtitle. Here's some keywords that I threw in there and stuff right here. This is my suggestion. I'm going to go into more detail, but what I saw here was coffee games are number two, coffee shop, they're number two, baking their number two. So I really wanted to focus more on those terms because if you look at the traffic scores between the differences, then you'll see that it's not much different. So baking versus bakery and baking games actually has more traffic than bakery. So I'm going more aggressive on the baking side of things. And they're already ranking number two for baking already. Right? So, and they're 21 for baking games. So a few subtle changes I want to make so that I can get them above for you know, really height rank right well for baking games because the, and then the other thing was restaurant games. Obviously, if you look at all this cooking games and restaurant games have the most traffic, but although they rank pretty well for restaurant games, I would say they've never gone up. So here, let me show you this real quick as I, as I was thinking through this restaurant games. So this, these three keywords, restaurant games is in red and then coffee games there is in green and then coffee shop is in blue. So I'm going to follow along, but as you can see, restaurant games is the red line. They haven't gone above five in the last 30 days, right? But coffee shop, they've hit number one a few times. Now they settled into number two and then they're back to number one for a little bit and back down to number two and one. So there's a really good shot that they can end up being number one, right? And same thing with coffee games. They were number one for the longest time. They've dropped a little bit then went back to number one. So there's a really good opportunity for them to be in the top one or two for these keywords. They're already number two, but they can be in the top one for these keywords with these subtle changes. Whereas restaurant games, you know, like you've never gone above five. So why even bother? in terms of targeting. And I, the other way I think about this too is coffee shop and coffee games. That's directly related to the app. It's my cafe, right? It's about that app. So it's more relevant. And two, you actually, one, you're more, it's more relevant. And two, you actually have really good rankings. So let's get you to number one. Let's get you to stay number one for these keywords. And so that's why I changed the app name from my cafe recipes and stories to my cafe cake baking boss coffee shop story and world. Okay. And I'll tell you why I decided to do that too. And then the Spanish Mexico app name is now called my cafe coffee games. And then the subtitle is baking games to swap cake. All right. And I'll tell you exactly why I decided to name the, those keywords. So if you look at the data here, these are terms related to cake, right? I noticed again here that cake had good traffic scores, right? And I noticed that there were a lot of keywords with cake phrases that have low competition. So cake baking is another keyword that I don't think I put in here, but is another keyword. And I put boss there because cake boss, which is a show about baking stuff has a good amount of traffic and low competition. Meaning if I put it like this, I can pretty much rank in the top five, probably most likely I can end up in the top five for this. So that's why I re ranked it that way. You already rank well for baking. So I have baking in there cause I want their number two. So I want them to be number one for baking. So that's why I threw that in there too. And then cake baking was another phrase that was in there. So I threw that cake too, because I also want to rank well for phrases around cake. And that's why, so I wanted cake in there and cake boss. Okay. So that's why I re reorganized that cake baking boss. Okay. And then the coffee shop, obviously, you know, they're number two for coffee shop. So I want to get them to number one and then story and world. If you look at all their keywords, you see that they're ranked number three for world 
and then there's Cafe Story, they're number three. So I, want, I didn't wanna lose those rankings and I don't know what they currently have. So I put that story and world in there. Let me stick with this spreadsheet right now. So this is the big spreadsheet that I normally put together. And then I just put in swap and pay just to highlight the fact that these guys, swap and pay have really low competition. So I just sort it by chance. Swap right here and pay. And they're not ranking at all for them. And there's both, when both, like I said before, when both platforms tell me that's low competition, I can generally rank well for them. So Cake Pay is a something from the Cheesecake Factory, is an app for that. And then Cake Swap is, I think it's just a keyword because I don't think anything is Cake Swap. Let me, let me look at it real quick too. I'll pull it for you guys. So here's another reason why, let me, as I got this up, why I decided not to focus so much on restaurant games too, is if you look at this, they're number nine, they're right here. And if you look at the, all the reviews of let's say the top five, you see they're in the hundreds of thousands of reviews, right? And so I just don't think we'll be able to take over that spot. And so that's why I've de-emphasized restaurant games. All right, so let's go kick swap is the keyword that we're targeting. Yeah, oh yeah, here it is, I remember now. KickSwap is a match three type of game from Zynga. So the reason why I like this keyword is right now, obviously the platforms are telling me good data, right? Like good scores, everything else. And two, the it's a different type of game. So it's a match three game. I'm not competing directly with other like diner dash restaurant type of games. I'm competing more with match three games, which people are looking for cake swap, they could potentially be looking for a, because cake is in there, a game that's more related to running a bakery and so forth. So that's why I have cake swap as a keyword here. And, you know, I didn't wanna go after, directly after that name, so I put swap cake, but it should work the same way. And normally the, the other thing I wanna highlight here is when I'm going aggressive after a keyword, so I have cake here and I have swap here, right? I'll generally have it in the Spanish or the US keywords and also the Spanish Mexico app name. So here I would probably put, you know, I already have coffee in the subtitle. I'll just put games here to highlight the fact that it's both in the US keyword field, coffee games, that phrase is in the US keyword field, but it's also in the Spanish Mexico app name, right? Now I wanted coffee games because we already rank pretty well for it and just with having this in the app name, I want this to be cemented into the top spot. And so that's why I decided to put that into this, the number one. So you could also mess around with this and call like coffee shop games too, if you wanted, or you can just leave it coffee games. And I might put it coffee shop games because coffee shop has more keyword or more traffic volume than coffee games. So this is the way I probably would do it, coffee shop games, but we already have coffee shop here. But if you wanted to emphasize it, this is how I duplicate stuff. If I am gonna duplicate it, I mismatch ma match it like that, right? So that's it, that's how I do it. I would have gone in more details for clients and fill out the whole thing, but this is just to show you our thought process, how we come up with different terms and how we decide which terms to actually use in the app name. And the last thing I will say, this is a little hack that I'll share with you guys too, because I wanna bring you the best stuff is Think through like what else you can think about. So what I did was I Googled baking magazines and I wanted to see which ones were the popular results. So the ones I found was Bake From Scratch right here and also Bake Mag. Now generally some of these you'll find that they might have, so if they're very popular, they might have really high traffic scores, but generally what you'll find is they have low competition because nobody's really thinking about that because everybody's thinking like cookie games, bakery games, things like that, and nobody's thinking outside the box. So think through like what else would your core demographic be searching for that has a lot of volume that they can potentially stumble upon. And especially if it's like bake from scratch or bake magazine, you're gonna be more relevant. So the more keywords that you are relevant to the, the really targeted keywords you have, the better you're gonna rank for those particular keywords. Hope that makes sense. So like having big magazine or maybe it's like Cake Boss, for example, is a great one, right? Like having those in there would help you rank better for like just cake in general because you're going after all these terms and ranking well for the phrases from that main term.
All right. Hope that was helpful. Oh, the last thing is they, they asked for some screenshot advice. So let's look at the screenshots. Now, what you don't see because I'm pulling this on the web is in the app store, there's actually a video that plays. Now I would probably get rid of the video. Okay. I would probably get rid of the video because if I search for, let's say cake games, cake games, you see that most people are not having the video. So the video, if you use a video, it just takes up everything. Now forget how it's going to look in iOS 11, but it takes up whole, the whole screen. So you only see one, one screen, right? So I would AB test that and go no, no video. So I might not change anything, but I might just take down the video in the next update and see what happens. And my hunch says that you'll probably increase downloads and conversions because people are more likely to convert. Right. And the other thing I would change in the, the text is call this a game, right? Make this a game. Like, so it just says a cozy cafe right now in the screenshot. That's the first screenshot I would put, you know, run your own cafe, right? Or something that they even said right here, my cafe has been recognized as one of the best games of 2016 by the app store. So why not use that? Right? So I'm going to, how do I get rid of this? Show less. Oops, I can't. Yeah, let me pull this up. Okay, good. So why not use that social proof and add it into your first screenshot? One of the best games of 2006 by the App Store. This would be my first thing, and that would be the first screenshot. So if I take away the video, I can then highlight one of the social proofs that I already have, which is one of the best games of the App Store. These aren't real benefits. These are just saying tasty recipes. What do I care about tasty recipes when I'm not, you're not teaching me how to cook? I'm running my own cafe. So why do I care about tasting recipes? You know, think about what people must are really saying about the app, right? And then use that in your language. Gripping stories, customize, not really that, that important. It could be like, you know, decorate your, so think through like what your core demographic is thinking about, right? Decorate your own coffee shop because women, I know my wife is like this. She, she loves to decorate stuff. So it's like decorate your own stuff rather than customize. So think through the words, the verbs that your core audience is using rather than just say customize. That's so like boring. Nobody cares about customization really. They care about decorating. So that's the, the changes I would make. Remove the video, put best game 2016 by Apple as in the text rather than a cozy cafe and then be like, run your own coffee shop, you know, something like that or something more than just tasty recipes and these words. That's it. All right. Hope that was helpful. If you want to see more of this, then I would say go to App Masters Academy, sign up for our new App Masters Academy course here. Let me pull that up for you guys so that you guys can see it. But essentially my, my future, my vision for App Masters, especially in 2016 and beyond is to provide you with these really action packed courses that these mini courses that help you do this one thing really well. I think I don't think a lot of people need a whole full on course. So we already have that. You can get access to our ASO masters course. You can get access to how we get featured by Apple. That's coming up soon. Our pay to favorite pay to free campaign. Some of our older webinars that we can't publish anywhere else. You're going to have access to all that. So if you miss the webinar and they're not available, you can access that through App Masters Academy. And the cool thing is if you really are unhappy, you think my stuff stinks, then I'm happy to give you your money back, but you gotta let us know soon. Cause you know, like you can't wait like a year and be like, oh, this, this stuff stinks, Steve. So, but if you're like, you sign up and within that first month, you're like, no, this is not good. Happy to give you that refund anytime and you can cancel anytime, but we're going to be adding more and more stuff. And then when I do some of these audits, I'm probably going to limit it to the people within app masters Academy and only do it for them and just publish it for them. That's the thing. Like, Hey, I'm willing to put in time for you if you can let me share it with the rest of the community. But most of this stuff, the things that I just did right now are probably going to be specifically for those in the app masters Academy community. So already got people signed up for this, which I'm really excited about. We're officially launching this where it's officially launched by the time you hear this, but it is appmastersacademy.com this time appmastersacademy.com. It's also in the, the link below in the description of the video. 
All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.